John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures. Serious testing, successful hunting. I'm really excited about the head that I'm going to be testing today. It's another one by Trifecta. Earlier this year, in 2023, Trifecta came out with a 100 grain fixed blade model, and then using that same ferrule, you can switch out the blades and turn it into two different sizes of mechanical heads. So real cool modularity to it. And I tested both of those heads. They performed so well, especially the fixed blade. It got the highest score at that point of any fixed blade head that I tested according to my system and my testing process that I reached out to them and asked them for a discount code so I could pass on some savings to you. I only do that if a head performs exceptionally well and they agreed so I've been able to pass on that discount code to you. And in those videos I shared that they were coming out with some uh, additional models later in the year. Well now they have and I'm going to start testing them. So today I'm going to be testing this whopper of a fixed blade head. It's a one and a half inch cutting diameter, 150 grain all steel fixed blade head. Pretty cool looking head. So for this, I'm going to be using the process that I'm using for 2023. You can read about it right below the video in the description, or you can check out the, uh, the video where I introduce this testing process and explain it in more detail. It's just called 2023 Broadhead Test Process. So you can find that here on my channel. And uh, for the test, I'm going to be using my Bowtech CP28 set at 72 pounds. I'm using Bishop FOC King Arrows for most of the shooting, but for the really hard impact stuff, I'm using the Bishop Fad Eliminators because they can handle it. So let's zoom on in here and check out this mean looking Trifecta 150 grain head. Here's a good look at this head, and man, this is a wicked looking head right here. This is like a, a Batman type of a broad head. So if you're familiar with the Trifecta design, um, they have a one ferrule that can be used in a modular way with so many different blade configurations. You can go with 100 grain, one and a quarter inch vented blades, or 125 grain, one and a quarter inch solid blades, or you can go three different sizes of mechanical blades, like in a gator style broadhead, 1.65 inches, 1.87 inches, or 2.1 inch. Here you have the 150 grain, one and a half inch cutting diameter uh, broadhead. This is so cool looking. And so again, everything is all steel. It's 420 stainless steel. Cutting diameter of the main blade is a full one and a half inches. Cutting diameter of this cross tip is three eighths of an inch. So you're getting a total cut here of a 1.88 inches. Okay, really nice style, nice size of cut. Uh, the blades are single bevel sharpened all the way around, even on the back, to a 40 degree bevel angle, which is going to maximize durability as well as rotation. Uh, the tip is 40 degree bevel as well, and super easy to sharpen because there's just two edges to it. Same thing on this, and it's really easy to find that 40 degree. You can do it pretty much by hand or use a stay sharp guide if you really want to be precise. They make the, the best sharpeners there are. Their C guide sharpener would work really well with this 40 degree bevel. And, uh, and you can sharpen the back as well just to help pull it out of a target or as it backs out of an animal, uh, it's going to be cutting tissue as it goes like that. The blades are really uh, thick as well. The main blade is 0.07 seven, eight inches thick. Some of the thickest blades on the market. And even this tip is 0 0.040 inches thick. That's one of the, the thicker blades of a, of a replaceable blade on the market. That's the same thickness as a QAD Exodus. So really nice thick tip there. With it being so short, it's uh, going to help it to be a bit more durable. So man, this is a wicked looking head. I'm eager to see how it performs, how it flies, how durable it is but man if this hits something it's going to definitely pack a wall up especially with that cut size with that cutting diameter and then with that uh, single bevel super thick blade so let's check out this uh, this trifecta one and a half inch 150 grain and see how it performs
took 200 grams of force to cut through the wire, which is a 10 on a 10 point scale. It penetrated seven inches, which is pretty impressive given that wide of a cut. It took no additional force to cut through the wire, which gives it a 10 on a 10 point scale. It penetrated through 54 layers. It rotated 40 degrees at 13 inches. The head is in perfect condition after three shots through the MDF. The head is in really good shape after two shots through the steel plate. There's just some very minor nicking on some of the blades. And then these holes, man, they're really impressive holes. You could see first there's just a really wide hole, okay, an inch and a half cut. Then you get that S cut from a really good rotation. You get a little bit of cross cut in there from the leading blade. But then you all notice, also notice that the, the blades cut a really wide swath all the way to the end. And that's just because they're extra thick like that. And so, man, this is going to be a wound channel that's really difficult to close up. So here's the head after going through all the durability tests. And as you can see, it held together really well. It's gone through the MDF three times, the steel plate two times, and then uh, smacked into the concrete pretty hard. The only uh, damage that you can see is uh, the tip got a little bit torqued right there. And that's because that single bevel tip already, you know, it generates some rotation and, and it, uh, it was, you know, rotating. And so it got a little bit of a, of a hook to it, but otherwise in excellent shape. So what'd you think? Man, this is another winner. And I just love the modularity of these. So using that same ferrule, you can switch out uh, a couple different, three different uh, blades, fixed blades, and now three different uh, mechanical blades as well. That's pretty cool. But this one, man, for me and my hunting style and stuff, for whitetail, for hogs, you know, that size animal, this might be my favorite head, okay? It's certainly my favorite fixed blade head for those. It just, uh, man, it makes a nice, really big hole, good rotation, flies super well, penetrates well, great durability. It didn't score overall quite as as high as uh, as the smaller model. That's just because the smaller model, model is so extremely forgiving in flight and penetrates so incredibly well. But for most setups and for deer size animals, man, this is going to put them down. So give it a give it a look. Trifecta, another excellent head. Congratulations. Look forward to even more stuff you come out with in the future.